Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. And uh, tonight's Raw was held from the Bell Center in Montreal, in Canada. And this was the go-home show for Backlash, uh, which is happening uh, this Sunday. And uh, we're coming off of the Greatest Royal Rumble, which happened uh, on Friday in Saudi Arabia. And I gotta say, tonight's Raw, uh, my opinion, I thought it was a very lackluster show. But the Montreal crowd made it uh, somewhat entertaining. Uh, we had a uh, we had a hot crowd uh, in Montreal uh, for this Raw. And uh, it was good. It was a good crowd. And you know, you know, anytime WWE uh, goes to Canada, whether it's in Montreal or Toronto or uh, you know anywhere anywhere else in or any other city, you know, New York, uh, you know, here in New York or Chicago or hell, even Miami, uh, which I think is a very underrated you know say for wwe for wwe crowds whenever they come to, uh down there uh you know when they go to those cities you know the crowds are going to be amazing and the crowd is going to be good you know if the crowd is into uh is into what they see no matter how shade the show uh might be you know the crowd reaction is going to be amazing and I think WWE should, you know, build more shows uh, to create, you know, crowd reactions like uh, what we saw tonight. Uh, if they did that every week, whether, you know, it's in other cities, it would be amazing. Because uh, I really would like, you know, to see the crowds be that be that hyped like we saw tonight uh, in other cities. But one could wish, you know. But uh, wish we got you know the crowd reactions you know every week, uh, like what we saw tonight for Raw and SmackDown. So, but in my opinion, I think you know that's you know the crowds you know should be like that every week, like what we witnessed uh, tonight. So, let's get on with the show, with the review. Uh, the show opened up with Roman Reigns coming out. You know, saying he's not going to make any any excuses because, you know, he doesn't need to. And he goes on to say uh, that he should be the universal champion and that he is a man of his word. And he says that he actually he beat Lesnar in the steel cage, which uh, if you remember uh, at the Greatest Royal Rumble, uh, Roman Reigns ended up spearing uh, Lesnar through the cage. And it ended in a very controversial uh, finish, uh, which uh, they ended up giving the win to uh, Lesnar, uh, and you know Roman says you know said that he should be the universal champion. But uh, Samoa Joe uh, is on the Titan Tron, uh, saying that you know Sunday at Backlash he's going to put uh, Roman's career to sleep. And uh, Jinder Mahal ends up coming out uh, with, you know, Sunil Singh. Uh, he, they both end up coming out. And Roman says, no, Jinder says that, you know, Roman lost fair and square to Lesnar, uh, you know, at the Greatest Royal Rumble. And he goes on to say at Backlash, he will, you know, Roman will lose to Joe. And uh, tonight... Roman will lose to uh, Jinder. And uh, Jinder also ends up saying that, you know, now that he's on Raw, he will flourish and he will raise, you know, the Universal Championship, you know, when he, you know, if he wins the, the Universal Championship, you know, in the future. And he goes on to say that tonight, uh, he will prove why. And uh, first of all, keep Jinder Mahal from ever again a talent or ever again a shot at the Universal Championship. Please do. I, I don't want to see that. If 
fucking don't. And then Sami Zayn ends up coming out uh, to a big uh, crowd reaction because this was in his hometown. Oh, and by the way, Roman Reigns was getting booed uh, by the, uh, the Montreal crowd. Uh, which, you know, you, you got to expect that. You have to, you have to expect that. So Sammy ends up coming out, big uh, crowd reaction because it's in his hometown. He comes out and he's, you know, saying, you know, he wasn't able to participate or, you know, go to the Greatest Royal Rumble uh, because he had a bad case of vertigo. And he says he's feeling a lot better tonight. And that, you know, he is the one who wants to take on Roman Reigns tonight. Kevin Owens ends up coming out to another big crowd reaction because Kevin Owens is from, is also from Canada, of course. So he comes out and says this, you know, to Sammy that he knows that uh, Sammy can beat Roman. And that, you know, the, the crowd wants to see uh, Owens beat uh, Roman tonight. And... You know, he says to the crowd who they want to see take on Roman tonight. So, and then we just saw, you know, Sami Zayn, uh, Jinder Mahal, Kevin Owens, and uh, Samuel Sin. They start taking out Roman, you know, beating him down. Bobby Lashley ends up coming out and tries to take them uh, out. But Sami Zayn, Jinder Mahal, and Kevin Owens end up uh, being down on Bobby Lashley. And then uh, the winner of the Greatest Royal Rumble match, Braun Strowman, comes out. And we saw all four of them, uh, you know, pile up on top of Strowman. Uh, Lashley ends up uh, taking Kevin Owens uh, off of Strowman and throwing him out of the ring. Strowman then uh, breaks Breaks off uh, Sami Zayn, Jinder Mahal, and Sunil. You know, where how, you know, Strowman does the, you know, and all the guys go flying. And uh, Strowman, uh, you know, Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley end up cleaning the house. They end up cleaning the ring. And we see Strowman then uh, picks up Sunil and, you know, throws him out of the ring. And then Sunil lands on on top of uh, Jinder and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And that pretty much ended the uh, the segment. And I gotta say, it was a, dec it was a decent uh, segment. Uh, wasn't uh, perfect by any means, though. And then uh, we had uh, the first match, uh, Elias versus Bobby Roode. Uh, before the match even started, Elias was out there as always. You know, he's saying how he eliminated uh, a lot of superstars in the Greatest Royal Rumble. He starts talking shit about Bobby Roode. Uh, Bobby Roode ends up coming out, and they end up having the match. And the match itself, uh, I thought it was a decent match, but uh, very, uh, very stupid end to the match. You know, in the end. But uh, the way how the match ended was uh, Bobby Roode was on the, uh, the ring apron. Elias ended up uh, tossing uh, Bobby Roode into the turnbuckle, into this, you know, the steel that holds the turnbuckle. And it got uh, Roode in the, uh, in the throat. But it really, it got botched because you could see that it landed, that he landed uh and he went into it through, you know, on his chest, you know. Sorry about that, but I was saying, uh, Bobby Roode uh, actually botched that, and uh, you know, he landed, you know, his chest landed uh, in the, uh, you know, the, the steel that holds the turnbuckle, and he went off the ring, and that's when uh, the uh, the ref ended up stopping the match. Uh, you know, the uh, doctors ended up coming out. And uh, so Elias ended up winning the match uh, because of, uh, you know, the match stopped. Uh, he got on the mic and said, and you're a winner of this match, Elias. So that's pretty much uh, what happened. But uh, 
It was a very uh, stupid way to end the match. Uh, overall, match was decent, but stupid end to it. Then we had uh, AOP, Authors of Pain, uh, versus these uh, jobbers. Uh, the names were uh, Jean-Paul and French Choice. Uh, match was pretty much nothing. Authors of Pain uh, got the quick win uh, with the, uh, the last machine, the last chapter uh, on uh, you know Jean-Paul and Francois. Uh, those two uh, jobbers to, uh, to score the win. So yeah, so it was pretty much a nothing match for uh, Orders of Pain. Really like to see them get competition uh, down the line. Uh, so that's why that's why I would like to see with the Orders of Pain. You know, they they just you know made the call. You know, got called up from NXT, and you know they're putting them with. They're uh, booking, you know, authors of pain to take on jobbers. I mean, let's get it. Let's get a good uh, feud for uh, authors of pain. I really like to see that. Then uh, after the match, uh, AOP they say, you know, there will be a chapter for everyone on Raw. So basically, they're putting uh, the uh, the Raw uh, tag team on. You know, they're putting the uh, the Raw Tag Team, uh, you know, full notice. So, but like I said, the match itself, it was pretty much nothing. Uh, pretty much a nothing match. Just, they be, they be its two jobbers. Then we had Seth Rollins uh, end up coming out. Says that he had a great year. Uh, so far, he's happy to be in Montreal. Uh, the crowd went nuts for him. Uh, like, you know, like five minutes of you of the crowd just, you know, cheering him on, and it, it was it was a great it was a great reaction that Seth Rollins uh, got from the crowd tonight. And uh, he says, you know, he doesn't want to be a champion, uh, you know, like Lesnar, because he ends up calling Lesnar, you know, a not, you know. A not legitimate universal champion because uh, Roman uh, you know uh, you know Roman hit it first and you know he thought you know Seth is you know catering to Roman saying you know Roman won the match and Seth says he wants to be a fighting champion and so Finn Balor ends up coming out says to uh, Seth you know how close he became to being the Intercontinental Champion at the Greatest Royal Rumble, uh, if you remember at the Greatest Royal Rumble, Finn Balor was uh, on the ladder, and then Seth Rollins ended up uh, coming up, jumped on the uh, jumped on the top rope, and then jumped onto the ladder uh, for uh, Rollins to you know climb up the ladder and retrieve the uh, the Intercontinental uh, title, and you know he says. Uh, Finn Balor ends up saying to Seth Rollins to show everyone that, you know, he is a fighting champion by putting the Intercontinental title on the line and, you know, f for Seth to fight uh, Finn for it tonight. And the crowd, you know, really goes, you know, crowd really chants really uh, loud for that. And Seth says, you know, he's got the Miz at Backlash for the Intercontinental title. And he leaves it up to the Montreal crowd uh, to determine if uh, he should take on Finn tonight. Uh, the crowd, you know, goes nuts. And he ends up saying, uh, the match is on. And so, out comes Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. Still with uh, the Miz's, uh, still with the Miz's music. Uh, they should just, WWE is really lazy. Uh, they should just they should have changed uh, Curse, Axel, and Bo Dallas if they're going to be still together. They should just gave them a new uh, entrance uh, theme. Why they still have you know the Mrs. Uh, theme music? 
It's just it's just them re being really lazy. So Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas end up coming out, you know, saying that last week uh, they made a mistake uh, and, uh, by attacking them, uh, by attacking them separately, saying, "Oh yeah, we want to be, you know, we want to do Shield 2.0. We want, you know, to be a, uh, um, you know, Ballot Club, and uh, they want." They wanted to have a group conversation with them. And they both end up saying to Seth and Finn, oh, they should become, you know, the four horsemen of WWE. And they, and then both of them had, uh, you know, their faces on the shirt. So it was uh, Curtis Axel, Bo Dallas, Seth Rollins, and Finn Balor on the shirt, uh, just their faces. And Seth and Finn, you know, think it over. Uh, Seth ends up declining, uh, also Finn, and then uh, we just see, uh, you know, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas, uh, that they're going at it with Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. Seth and Finn start beating uh, both of them down. Uh, then we saw Balor then end up striking uh, Seth Rollins. So. Uh, you know, it was it was expected to happen. It was you know predictable because I was like, oh, I think uh, I think Finn's gonna do something to uh, Seth over here, and you know I was right. So, but all in all, the segment it was it was a good uh, segment. You know, the crowd uh, reaction uh, that they gave Seth Rollins was uh, really awesome. Uh, just the, just hearing that. That crowd chant for uh, for Seth Rollins for like five minutes uh, was really amazing. Then we had uh, Ruby Riot versus Sasha Banks. Uh, the match itself, it was it was okay. Uh, it wasn't uh, you know the it wasn't great or perfect by any means though, but. Before the match started, Sasha Banks was being interviewed, uh, saying if she worked things out with Bailey. Uh, Sasha says Bailey will not be in her corner tonight, and she hasn't heard anything from she hasn't heard anything from Bailey. So then uh, the match got started. Match got under the way, and uh, match stuff like I said, it was okay. Uh, it was back and forth between uh, Ruby Riot and Sasha Banks. Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan, of course, were out there. And uh, yeah, one point in the match where uh, Ruby Riot, where Ruby Riot uh, went to the uh, went to the uh, the top uh, turnbuckle, and she just uh, jumped off and landed on her landed on her butt on top of uh, Sasha, uh, which was a uh, which was a cool uh, little move. And then uh, at the end, uh, Sasha Banks had the bank statement locked onto Ruby Riot, but Sarah Logan ended up coming in and distracting the referee. And Liv Morgan uh, was pulling uh, was pulling Ruby Riot. And then uh, it gave you know Ruby Riot uh, control of the match. Uh, Ruby Riot ended up win win the match with the Riot kick to Sasha Banks. So, but uh, the match itself, like I said, it was okay. Then we had another cringe-worthy uh, moment of bliss, uh, you know, promo from Alexa Bliss, the uh, public service announcement uh, that you know she started last week. And this time, it's about her saying how her and Nia, when they went to Disney World. Uh, how Nia made fun of how short she was, and you know when they were going, when they were eating over there, that Nia gave you know Alexa a kids menu, and then you know Alexa goes on to say that backlash she will win back her Royal Women's Championship because she will not let uh, the bully win. Just a just another cringeworthy uh, promo from uh, Alexa with this. Said it was cringeworthy. Then we had uh, Tyus O'Neill 
uh, being interviewed by Renee Young. Uh, Renee uh, interviews him about uh, his botch slide that uh, he did uh, in the uh, in the Royal Rumble match, uh, which was funny though, which which is hilarious. I can't stop watching uh, the video of Tyson O'Neill botching and sliding underneath the ring. It just gets funnier and funnier every single time. You know, I see it. <laughs> it's just, it was just it was the highlight of that of that Rumble match. Uh, by far, it, it that clip, that that whole clip of uh, Titus, it's never gonna get old. <laughs> it's 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 never ever gonna get old. But uh, you know, Titus says, you know, he just failed, and not and he goes, you know, not many people get that opportunity to fall, you know, in front of the world. And he says, you know, this situation should should inspire people uh, to do something. And then uh, he gets cut off because uh, Baron Corbin ends up coming. And he says to Titus that, you know, something that should be ins inspirational is if he didn't fall. So, and then Baron Corbin ends up walking away. Uh, the interview ends. But, you know, it, it, was, it was just that. So you could tell that you could tell that uh that Tyus, you know, is like proud of that because, you know, he just by that little just by that little uh thing that he did, it broke the internet and got people talking about it, uh people viewing it over and over again, having a good laugh. So then uh after that we had Matt Hardy kind of promo. Saying about how, you know, the vessels of him and Bray Wyatt have forever transcended time and space. And it just shows, you know, the his it just shows like history and it and they just put uh, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt's, you know, faces. It looked like they were fo like they were photoshop photoshop cut onto uh you know history uh from you know back in the day. From you know all counts of uh, all counts of history. I mean, it was pretty funny. Uh, got a laugh out of it. Oh, but it was it was a funny uh, little promo. So then we had uh, another six man tag. WWE and their six man tags. They they really. I'm like these six man tags have been happening. Uh, you know, every so often. And then next week, there's going to be another six-man tag. I'm like, please stop with the six-man tags. It's getting annoying already. But uh, it was Braun Strowman, Bobby Lashley, and Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and Jinder Mahal. Uh, match itself, it was it was pretty decent. Uh, I have to say it was, it was very enjoyable. Uh, it was a very enjoyable match. Uh, it was back and forth between them. Uh, Braun Strowman, uh, amazing also, uh, in the match. He did like what he did last week where he ran out of the ring and attacked, you know, Kevin Owens and, uh, also Sami Zayn laid them both out, you know, just like last week, the crowd was, you know, really cheering for that, for Strowman, uh, cause Strowman just, you know, it's like, you know, it's like a bus coming at you, you know doing that but uh it was it was just uh it was just a decent uh match uh braun Strowman, bobby lashley and roman reigns uh end up winning the match uh because Strowman ended up in a run and power slam on kevin owens so but uh the thing with bobby lashley uh i'm happy he's back but to me it he but to me his comeback has just been very uh generic like they they didn't even give him you know like or you know have him get on the, get on the mic and say you know you know why he's back he just showed up you know out of nowhere you know after wrestlemania and then just laid out uh, elias you know we didn't get no you know him on the mic and say you know why is he back and it you know it, it just it just feels very it just feels very 
you know, generic uh, with Bobby Lashley. I hope they, you know, give him something, you know, real soon. Give him some competition. Have him on the mic. So. But, yeah, all in all, the six-man tag, it was a decent match. It was, it was kind of, it was enjoyable, in my opinion. Then we had uh, No Way Jose uh, versus Baron Corbin. Uh, if you remember last week, uh, Baron Corbin ended up attacking No Way Jose from behind. Uh, he ended up laying out No Way Jose on the stage. So Baron Corbin ends up coming out and says, you know, Tyus has made a career looking, a career, you know, looking stupid and playing a fool. Uh, he ends up talking shit about No Way Jose. And Baron Corbin, you know, he ends up, you know, walking down and saying, you know, he came here to win championships and to make money. And that uh, he says tonight he's going to put an end to all this nonsense. And when it's done, you know, no one will be laughing. So, so, yeah, so No Way Jose ends up coming out, you know, with his group with the conga line. Uh, right at the get-go, Baron Corbin ends up, you know, taking out uh, No Way Jose. Uh, no Way Jose ends up going to the uh, the top. He ends up uh, missing and, you know, not taking out uh, Baron Corbin. Uh, pretty much the match was pretty much uh, nothing. Because uh, Tyus O'Neal, uh, Tyus Worldwide ends up coming out. And Tyus, you know, gets on the apron you know, he tries. He wants to try and recreate, you know, the uh, the slip that, you know, that happened at the Greatest Royal Rumble. But Tyus also Tyus ends up getting on the apron. He actually fakes and slips on the rope, uh, which we all know, you know, you know, he faked it to get, you know, another uh, reaction uh, for people to, uh, you know, people to talk about it though. But you know, it, it just failed though. And then it gave No Way Jose, uh, you know, the win. He ended up rolling up uh, Baron Corbin. So No Way Jose ends up uh, winning the match. So, but all in all, it was, pretty, it was a nothing match, uh, in my opinion. Then we had uh, Natalia versus Mickey James. Uh, this match was your typical women's match. Uh, wasn't. Uh, great or perfect by any means. So, but uh, Natalia end up getting the win with the uh, with the roll up to Mickey James uh, because you had uh, Alexa uh, down there. Alexa was trying to interfere in the match, but then uh, you know you had Ronda Rousey out there. Uh, so it was basically just you know Ronda Rousey going after Alexa Bliss. They were running around uh, the ring. Uh, the both of them and so you know distracted mickey james and natalia ended up uh you know rolling uh mickey james up for the win then you had after the match nia jackson's up coming out and she ends up uh running off uh alexa alexa ends up uh running off into the crowd and so then uh you know nia Jax comes into the ring and then just raises uh the hands of both uh, Ronda Rousey and uh, Natalia. So that was that. Then you had the main event, uh, which was uh, Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor for the Intercontinental uh, Championship. This was a good main event. I really enjoyed this main event. Uh, it was back and forth between uh, Seth and Finn. Uh, these guys, you know, they've been going at it. Uh, the crowd was really uh, into this match, was really uh, cheering for the both of them. Uh, you had at one point where uh, Seth Rollins did the uh, the superplex uh, to Finn Balor, and Finn Balor actually uh, countered it into a roll up, which was uh, which was awesome. Uh, it was a great it was a great uh, counter uh, from Finn. And there are points where. Uh, where Seth was trying to hit the stomp, uh, Balor ended up, uh, you know, moving out of there, and uh, 
Finn was trying. Finn went for the uh, the finisher, the coup de gras. Seth ended up uh, rolling out of the way, and so uh, Seth Rollins uh, was able to get uh, the stomp to hit the stomp on Finn Balor uh, to score the win. So Seth Rollins uh, wins and still retains the Intercontinental Championship. Now Seth is going into backlash uh, to face the Miz. Uh, for the Intercontinental Championship. And we all know Seth is going to win. Seth is going to retain uh, the title at Backlash. It's very predict. It's very predictable. Um, you know, because, you know, The Miz is now on SmackDown. So, <laughs> it's really, there's really no point. Uh, we all know, we all know who is going to win the match. And that is Seth Rollins. So, yeah, but all in all, the match itself, it was a good main event. Really enjoyed the hell out of it. So, yes, anyways, that's it for my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. Thank you all for watching. And uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all back here tomorrow night for my SmackDown review. Bye.